The Hennepin County Board will soon have a brand new chairman. Mike Opat of Robbinsdale is stepping down after nine years in that role. And today, Cassie Bonstrom sat down with Opat, and she has more on his decision and what he hopes to accomplish next. Cassie? Well, Mike Opat says there is still plenty of work to do as a commissioner on the board that represents 1.1 million residents. And when someone else takes over the role of chairman, it will leave him more time and energy to work on the issues he is most passionate about. OPAD has represented the county's first district, which includes much of the Northwest Metro, since 1992. He has served as chairman for a total of nine years, first from 2001 to 2003, and again from 2009 until now. When he steps down, he hopes to have more time to focus on programs to protect the county's most vulnerable residents. At the state legislature, we're at a moment where we're going to have to look at uh, how we take care of our developmentally disabled um, constituents, group home policies, uh, work arrangement policies, things like that. There's really a new day dawning and I think it's going to take some time and attention. Another major priority for OPAT is the transportation. He will continue to work on one of the biggest projects for his district, making the Botano light rail line a reality. It's a very important two years for the project. We need to get through federal approvals and we need to have the cities plan the station areas and, uh, and really take advantage of it. We only get one chance to do it. Well, Opat says the things he's most proud of during his tenure as chairman happened behind the scenes. For example, the county's response during the Occupy Minnesota movement. The board will elect a new chairman next month, Mike. All right. Thank you, Cassie.